Uh, here's another demo of the Adafruit uh, NeoPixel ring. Um, got a battery, an Arduino, the wiring, and the ring, and a potentiometer. The pixels are so darn bright, though, that it that it's hard to get a good picture of the color. Uh, the maximum pixel brightness is uh, 255, uh, and I have them set now at 1 8 that, or 32, about. So, and they're still too bright to show up well on the camera. So, uh, I have this uh, translucent plastic cup that I'll just put down the, on there as a diffuser, and that helps. Now you can at least see what's going on. So, uh, what I have in there now is a, a potentiometer uh, indicator. The bottom very very bottom pixel next to the green one is uh, white and then the background pixels are blue and then the pot controls the pot indicator position is indicated by the green now it's yellow and now it's red for the top of the range uh, this looks a lot better in person than it does in the camera so basically what we have is a green LED that indicates the potentiometer position and of course the level of anything that might be controlled by the pot and then now we're in the yellow range and then uh, spinal tap range okay so the bottom very very bottom white LED could be like a pilot indicator or a function indicator and then the the moving LED that corresponds to the pot position is of course your setting and then the range, you have a green OK range and a yellow caution range and then a red overload range. So that's one uh, very, very useful thing that you can use the NeoPixel ring for is a potentiometer uh, position indicator or as a, as a meter, a digital analog meter. You could have any uh, voltage signal driving the position of the indicator, the green light, because that's all I'm doing with the potentiometer is varying a voltage that's read by the analog in function of the Arduino. Alright, there will be more. Uh, for this one I just have the potentiometer directly controlling the color of the ring from uh, all blue through the 256 color range to all green green, red, blue and all of the colors in between and this one is uh, the uh, swirling rainbow and I have that uh, on a speed control a little bright. And then at other settings of the potentiometer I have the twinkler which uh, twinkles with random colors and random positions. This would make a really good um, Christmas tree light program, this one. And I have the brightness adjustable on that. So you can go to, this is the full bright, this is ridiculously bright. And then we'll get down to more human levels by turning the potentiometer down. And then, really, really dim. You can see how nicely saturated those colors are. And then even more further down on the pot than that, and it switches function into the rainbow swirl pattern. I should probably turn the brightness down on that a little bit, too. All right. The Adafruit NeoPixel ring. And here's a start on a real-time clock face. Uh, second, actually that's going around, the red dot is going around once a second and so the green dot moves once every second but there's 16 pixels so the green dot goes around one time in 16 seconds 
and I uh, put this diffuser over there, but even with the LEDs turned down as far as they'll go in terms of brightness, it still kind of washes out. Oh, there with the shadow on there, that looks better. At least you can see the red and the green, red, green, and white. Now the I've got the pot programmed here to bring up the background in blue. And if I turn them up all the way, oh man, they still really wash out. This is uh, certainly plenty visible in bright daylight. You don't have to worry about not being able to read your LED clock in the, in the sun. Uh, it's so bright that it doesn't photograph well. That's not bad there. Okay, thanks for watching. More demonstrations of the Adafruit NeoPixel Ring with Arduino controller.